This is an example of showing you how to use a concept called draping to uh, place images on top of other images, but to create the illusion of some form of draping. Draping is uh, where the target logo appears to have been uh, printed on the fabric of this image of the chair. Here's what I need to do. First of all, I need to have an image of my target pattern that I want to use. Uh, in this case, to create the logo, all I've done is to start out with an original image. And if I'm wanting to be able to create a certain pattern, all I have to do is to select it with the marquee tool, control C, create a new image or a new layer, turn that original logo off or image off and then I want to place it on this new layer that I've just created. If I go control V there's my logo. Control T enables me to transform the image down. I'm holding down the shift and the alt key to shrink the image. I want to repeat this pattern around an area like so. I'm holding down the Alt key to and drag with my left mouse button held down to create a repeat pattern. All I'm wanting to do is to create a series of patterns like so. If I then select the first layer, the top layer, hold down the Shift key, click on the bottom layer that I've got here and choose from my menu, change that down a tad. I'll go layer and then choose merge layers. That creates one layer of, of all of these patterns. I'll then select these images. Now you'll note that there's uh, the transparency or the checkerboard effect there. I'm not going to be too fussed about that because as you'll see shortly I'll be able to remove this effect. That transparency effect won't be visible. So having selected that those series of uh, patterns, I'm going to uh, uh, hold down the control C for copy, go over to the pattern of the chair, I'll turn the images that I've already created off, and then go into my menu and from the filter menu choose vanishing point. Uh, one thing to note before you do this, create a new layer, otherwise it won't work too well. The new layer is important because you need to be able to apply uh, the pattern onto that new layer and then apply different blend effects. I've already got a, uh, a frame around uh, the section of the image of the chair. To delete the, uh, any frames you have, press the backspace key. I'll create another frame to show you how it works. I'll put a frame around this section here and I want to be able to try to have it appear that it was on this area. So the frame needs to map the, um, the surface of the object that you're trying to put patterns on. I want to have this uh, frame wrap around the edge. I'm holding down the control key now and with my left mouse button I'll drag down this handle. That creates this uh, two edge effect. Having created the frame, control V, there's my pattern, and I can place the pattern in that frame area. Hold down the Alt key to just repeat that process. The Alt key and the left mouse button, I'm just dragging the pattern around to repeat it. And when I get to this section here, notice how the pattern appears to wrap around the edge of the cushion. After doing that, go OK. Having laid it on this new layer, the next key thing is to be able to use the blend effect multiply. Multiply makes it appear more photorealistic, except for the sections around here, which I'll need to remove. Now I'm going to use my lasso tool to put a lasso around the sections of the image of the chair to remove the bits that shouldn't actually be visible if this was real. 
I've selected it and I press the delete key and that gets rid of that. I don't want the section here and remove that part. Control D stops the selection process. I'll put a mark key around this part. It doesn't have to be very precise and delete that. And then over here it shouldn't be mm, Control D. The logo should actually attempt to wrap around that part but it's probably easier if I was to just select that section, push the delete key and remove the logo like that. I now want to create another section or another uh, frame around say the back part of the chair. I'm going to create another layer, go into vanishing point again or filter vanishing point, push the backspace key to get rid of that frame and I'll pre create another frame around this part. Now the frame needs to come down a bit like so. So I'm trying to create the view of how it should actually be applied. Control V to bring my pattern back and apply it around the sections that you want it to go. When you're creating the pattern, it's also important to make sure that it's of a reasonable size. So when you're first setting out the pattern, it's useful to be able to judge how big the section that you're wanting to apply the pattern to. I'll go OK, multiply. I don't want the logo here, so I'll remove it from that section. Delete. I don't want a pattern there. I'll delete there. It's a matter of going around now and creating this frame all around the various edges to apply the pattern.